Okay, so the simplicity of this tutorial is really baffling. I'm going to show you some really easy techniques on how to highlight her face and create shadows that make it so um, it really accentuates all the great curves and features. So, first thing we're going to do is create a new layer. Command Shift N. And the, way, the reason why you want to do it this way is because it makes it easier for you to add what you need to add for this particular tutorial. So change the blend mode to soft light. And then there's this little check mark that says fill with soft light neutral color, 50% gray. Check that. And then we're going to call this contours. Now that we've done that, grab the brush tool, set the mode to normal, set the opacity to 50% and then press X to make sure your foreground color is black because we're going to start with shadows. And I'm going to be painting over different parts of her face to help accentuate it where you believe shadows or differences in facial structure would be. And I warn you, at first it's going to look terrible. Don't worry about it. So her cheekbones are right there, so we'll put them there. Put a little bit around the side of her eye. lower our brush. Let's get around her eye and her nose. Let's get just around the curve of her nose. Just a tad bit below it. A little bit just under her lip. Get the brush bigger around the curves of her chin to where her chin meets her neck. eyebrow line. So that's pretty good for shadows. Yes, I know it looks like she's playing football, but don't worry about it. Now, change it to white. Let's go ahead and fill in the highlights of her forehead. Put some white around under her eyes. Make a nice little white area at the curve of her chin. Create a highlight at the front of her nose. Create some white around her cheekbones. Around her upper lip, just a little bit. Try not to hit this little area here. You want that to, sh to kind of define itself a little bit. Let's go ahead and look at it without the uh, layer just for fun. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so we're pretty much done painting in the areas that we want, and of course she doesn't look anything the way she's supposed to. So we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. As you can see, I've already messed with this before. Um, so you can change around the pixels, and you want to get it to the point of where you're barely noticing the changes but trust me when you see the before and after you will notice the changes and it'll be a big deal so 64.8 pixels is where I like it there's definitely a difference to see the before and the after before after you just see it accentuates her features so much more she's got kind of puffy cheeks we really want to show that off we want to show the difference in her nose line her hairs where her hair from her face so it really makes her eyes stand out things like that uh, below her chin so her so the her jawbone structure shows all these different things so it's still a tad bit much so we very simply change the opacity of this layer to anywhere from 80 to 70 percent I'll take it at 75 and look at it again after before after before if you never saw this photo before you would never notice the difference but it would definitely show off the important parts of her face and honestly it's one of the more powerful tools you can use in Photoshop to really accentuate a person's face Okay guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you have any questions or requests regarding Photoshop, please send me an email to requests at mahalo.com and also please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.